who's with her favorite insect, Mildred the millipede. Tristan, this is not a laughing matter. This is a very, very sad scene here, and I'm very surprised that you aren't sad either. It is your friend from yesterday, Mildred, the auntie of Mildred Jr. and Mildred Jr. Jr. and Mildred Jr. 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 has sadly passed away and has not survived her injuries after she was severed in half either by a car tire or perhaps a hornbill or maybe even a scorpion. We will never know. We'll have to speculate so we'll have to write all those things on her tombstone but I'm very sad and I don't think that I can continue with bushwalk anymore because I'm, I'm very, very sad. And I know that you thought that it was perhaps the zebra, but I don't like you putting the blame on the McCurdy Hurdy. I don't think that it's fair on them. They wouldn't have been able to see Mildred. And I'm very sad. I think we need to bury her now. This is a very emotional day for me. It's terrible. I may even shed a tear or two. It's a very rare thing to see me shed a tear or two. Let's bury Mildred. Right. Dig a nice little hole, Mildred. We'll put you near your resting spot where you took your last steps with your thousands and hundreds of their legs. Well, that will be deep enough. Mildred, thank you for all the hard work that you've been putting in to this environment and decomposing all the leaves and for tickling my fingers and my wrists. It has been a pleasure, and I wish you well, wherever millipedes may go, but it's time for us to now say goodbye. May you rest in peace, Mildred. <laughs> I'm not actually that, oh, no, I am. I'm, it's devastating, and now I've now hidden a meal for a potential animal, so I feel a bit bad about that, but,